Hi guys, it is a goddamn yuck, blah, cold, rainy, possibly soon to be snowy Tuesday morning in the middle of goddamn nowhere in New Mexico here on this Tuesday morning. What is it? Where the hell are we? October 25th, 2016. This is your old Doomsday Tourist Depressed Collapse of Terror. And I know it's only Tuesday and I'm two days early on a Depressed Collapse of Terror and rant, but God damn. You know, if I didn't have my little dog here, it would be pretty grim without my little dog. But thank God for fossil fuels. If, if I have two things to be thankful for on this planet, or this morning, right now, well, three things. Because this little dog, Sancho Panza, in his, little, in his little vest, freezing his ass. And this gas-sucking truck I'm sitting in and sleeping in all night to stay out of the fucking rain. And of course, fossil fuels. Because I would have had a goddamn hard time getting my life-saving cup of coffee, my organic cup of coffee, uh, without my little fracked thing of propane because you can imagine what my firewood looks like right now. And of course, does the heater come on? Mm, all right, we have heat and we have hot coffee. And we would have neither if it were not for fossil fuels. I admit it, guys. I'm a goddamn addict as much as you are, as much as uh, th this planet is. And I could use a little fucking global warming right about now. It's a balmy 38 degrees and precipitating. I mean, we're right on the verge of getting snowed in here in our little bivouac. I gotta put my hand up my my little dog's shirt because my fingers these fingers are nice and warm on this hot thing of coffee, but fingers in my right hand. I have some vague notion that the esteemed National Weather Service was talking about a 20% chance of a few scattered afternoon showers. Yeah, right. They came in at about 2 o'clock in the morning is when this steady drumming rain hit. I said, oh God. But I just pulled the covers up over my head and went back to sleep. I said, I will deal with it in the morning. And here I am dealing with it. And I'm dealing with it by cranking up the fossil fuels, saving my ass. How many times has your ass been saved by fossil fuels? So now I got to figure out what I get to do on this uh, exciting, rainy, perhaps soon to be snowy Tuesday in the end times as my, my life continues to unfold at a its glacial pace. Maybe I'll go into uh, spend the day in Santa Fe, New Mexico. But I've been pretty goddamn lucky, guys. I, I climbed in this truck in June 15th in Austin, Texas and uh, I've been spending a hell of a lot more time in my tent or the back of this truck in the past few nights with it being so damn cold. 
Uh, and this is the first time since June 15th, the first time since June 15th, I have faced a day like this. So, in every doomsday prophet's life, a little rain must fall. Of course, the hilarious irony of this all is I'm supposed to be house sitting in a nice warm house with internet and a hot tub in Olympia, Washington right now. But the reason I'm not sitting in a nice, comfortable, warm house, probably in front of a wood stove, clicking away on the internet while my hot tub gets ready is because I had to flee the rain in the Pacific Northwest to get down here to the sunny Southwest, which I admit has worked for the past 11 days, but my, my number is up. And th there is nothing, there is nothing to make you recognize just the sheer, just the sheer overwhelming weight of the, uh, or the depth, I should say. In this case, does a hole have weight? Just the sheer depth of the hole that I am digging for myself in my goddamn life as I spin my wheels. Better not be talking about spinning my wheels looking at this muddy ass road coming out of here. probably means an end for me going down that muddy ass road to the hot springs. The only reason I've been able to get to the fucking hot springs is because the road was so dry. And now, good God, don't even want to think of the road to the hot springs. But anyway, guys, this is, uh, this is my life. On Tuesday morning, October 25th, 2016, as uh, I continue to have no clue no fucking clue what I am going to be doing with my life after about December 18th, after the Christmas tree season in Austin, Texas ends. Who knows, I might even be coming back out to New Mexico. I'll discover next week that I might even be doing that. Southern New Mexico, not Northern New Mexico. But I guarantee you one goddamn thing I'm not going to be doing between the first day of winter and the first day of spring, and that's uh, living like this. I'm going to be somewhere where it's warm. That, that is the one deal I can make with myself. This, this being fucking cold it's for the goddamn birds. Right, little dog? Anyway, Sancho Panza and I are heading to Santa Fe, New Mexico for a day with the yuppies. So maybe I can find myself some internet and enjoy the fruits of global industrial civilization while we have them to enjoy. And make no mistake about it, as much as I'm cheering on the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, uh, one little taste of it. I, I understand it is not going to be pretty, guys. It is gonna be goddamn ugly. Goddamn ugly. Bye, guys.